Hey, who wants a pizza? Pepperoni pizza, Papa Johnny, have a lap lap. This joke brought to you by Party Riot, who told me that every time him and his friends end up doing the right click with the Dino Tamer, they always thought that it looked like a pizza, which, I mean, we should actually, th th somebody should legit make a mod that's a pizza delivery boy for this. That would just be amazing. I might even do that for the Pokemon trainer and just change the net into a pizza box. What's up, dudes and dudes to the air now? My name's Scythe and we are back again for another trove. Trove! I'm, I'm red today. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastic and wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. We're hanging out in the water world. I was just doing a little bit of grinding, trying to get myself some water gem dust because I have... Right here. I have this beautiful cubic curtain gem, which is a perfect one. It's got lots of physical damage and stuff. Good crit hit, too, I might add. And two levels left. So I need to get enough water gem dust so that I can use this ninth life to get it to level 24. And then not touch it until I get another stupid ninth life. Because we all know that the lapis bugs don't do anything. But yeah, so I, I got quite a few things to update you all on. Lots of it is actually to do with real life stuff, but is going to directly affect this series, everybody. Now... If you didn't already check it out, I'll put a car in the top right so you can. Uh, I ended up putting on a video talking about how my computer exploded again. So what ended up happening, uh, just for those that aren't keeping up with it all, right? So one of my video cards ended up pooping out, and now I am just using one video card instead of two, right? And then coincidentally, just around the same time, very recently, only like a day or two ago, my hard drives ended up exploding, completely unrelated, but now they just stopped working, right? And I mean, that took like two or three days to actually resolve the problem and get everything all worked out and everything like that. And now, you know, we're back in business. My computer is running and everything like that. But, unfortunately, I pretty much had to delete everything that was on my main hard drive. Thankfully, all of my YouTube stuff is on my backup drive, and that's doing just fine, so don't worry about that. But, I lost thousands of images uh, that I usually use for thumbnails. I lost all of my game saves, which means that I gotta grind out uh, some of the other games. Uh, I also had to reinstall everything. And then also, uh, what was that? Is somebody around? That was weird. But but anyway, needless to say, I just lost like tons and tons of files. So it's going to take me a little while to recover, not to mention my rendering settings and stuff. So hopefully this video is going to be of the same quality as all my other videos. But honestly, no promises because it's going to take me a little while to get things back in order, right? And now, needless to say, two of my hard drives died. Uh, and... Uh, Pretty much, need needless to say, I had five hard drives. Four of them were all talking to each other as one hard drive, and two of those ended up dead. So now I've separated those two, and now I have two very small hard drives, and then my gigantic hard drive, right? And, I mean, what does that, what does that mean as far as I'm concerned? It means a little bit more rendering time, uh, as well as having to organize files a little bit better and just... You know, I'm I'm a little bit pressed for space now, right? And I, I just wanted to let you all know about that. It's going to take me a little while before all of the recordings and all the series and stuff like that on the channel are all caught up. Trove may not be every day for a little bit, folks. That's the biggest thing that I'm trying to say here because uh, I got to catch up on lots of stuff with all the other series. You know, I, I know that most of you don't really care about, like, the Starbound series or the Goblins and Grottos game, but I enjoy them, and there are people that are enjoying those series and thus I'm I take those series just as seriously as I do with Trove, right? So uh, I need to find time to grind out and get my files on those games up to where I was in the series and get everything all recorded, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Honestly, whatever. I'm just saying that it's going to take a little while before Trove is back up and running. What is this? Why is this world completely dead? Well, anyways, this will give me time to talk, right? So, uh, as far as Trove is concerned, like the, the game itself, there's been lots of stuff going on behind the scenes in the background, right? So there's all these diamond dragon egg shards and stuff like that, and nobody really cares anymore because they ended up turning into some RNG garbage that nobody really enjoys. Uh, the player base for Trove is dying at a rapid pace. I think that's mostly just because anytime they end up adding a cool feature to the game, they end up adding some random number generation on it that people don't really care for, and it's not really something that is approachable for new players. That's the biggest thing that I would say, you know? But, uh, Trovo and Console should be right around the corner. I'm assuming November, December. Odd that they're waiting until the end of the year for something that they announced 
like at the beginning of the year, but hey, whatever, that's okay. Uh, especially because it said that it was coming soon for like 15 months. Like it's just, it's weird, isn't it? Uh, then they're also talking about storage clubs, which at the moment seem absolutely pointless uh, because all they really are is a club that default starts with a couple chests, has a trading post, but you can't build in it and it only has like one biome and it's absolutely useless because why wouldn't you just create your own normal biome because the devs don't seem to realize that if you actually wanted to have a proper storage club, uh, not only give us some extra chests, you know, give us some specific club storage exclusive chests or something like that, but not to mention the biggest thing is the fact that where's the forge? You know, if you're gonna be doing something in storage club, you're gonna need to be able to trade with people and you're gonna need to be able to forge souls and stuff like that but anyways I'm digressing and just kind of going all over the place because uh, I'm trying to get things all back in order and you'll have to excuse me because uh, although I am still a little bit sick like I did mention in my last videos I'm actually feeling a lot better outside of just my morale being down a little bit or at least my computer and all of the stuff that's been going on is trying to keep my morale down, you know? So I, it's been like a desperate fight to <laughs> to, to just sit here and just uh, tough it out and be like, okay, well, you know, my, my video card died, whatever, I guess I'll just keep going on one video card. Oh, now my hard drive's died, I lost thousands of files and years of work, well, whatever, I guess I'll just keep rolling with the punches, etc, etc. But anyways, um, because Trove is gonna be on a little bit of a hiatus, I mean, even though I say that you know me, I'm gonna work my butt off to get everything back in order as soon as possible, right? Unless more technical difficulties end up happening. That's kind of what I'm leaving uh, that window open for because I don't really know whether or not everything is all up and running 110% just yet uh, because this is actually my first recording since I ended up getting like my hard drives and stuff all good. I ended up um, doing my first edit and render job with the vlog video talking about like my computer exploding and stuff like that but this is the first actual official recording since everything ended up going wrong with my computer so it might take a little while for things to get going and oh before i forget too because it's going to take a little while before things get going we're going to be giving away a bigger prize today just as my way of saying thanks to everybody for your continued support uh so what we're going to be giving away thanks to lord sithis we're going to be giving away five dormant block dragon eggs now that means that uh, like we're gonna be giving all of those to one lucky person rather than giving one egg to each of five individuals all right so normally I don't really do this because I like giving uh, you know I like giving prizes to like tons of people at once rather than just one but for a prize like this I wanted to be able to give all of the eggs to one person so that they can be a lucky winner and actually be able to craft the door uh, the block dragon themselves you know instead of just oh here's one one egg, two egg, three egg, four, five eight, six egg, seven egg, more. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, I'm gonna be trying my best to get everything back in working order, everybody, and uh, kind of gotta rush this video out just so that it's out on time. I wanted to let you all know what was going on uh, with all of that. That's pretty much it. Otherwise, let's see whether or not we can get ourselves I doubt we're gonna get ourselves a perfect gem here, but we may as well just do this on camera anyways, right? Oh, I almost forgot too, there was a bunch of fan art I was supposed to put in that vlog video. Oh well, I'll put it in the next vlog video anyways, whatever. If you if you do have fan art and stuff, you can always just tweet it at me, everybody, uh, just to say, because I've actually been getting a lot of really funny fan art lately, and I really want to highlight it in some videos. Uh, there we go. <gasps> Yay! I mean, we got a little bit stronger, but not really. Joe has actually been killing it lately. He's got such good RNG with his gems. It's insane. His Shadow Hunter is way stronger than mine now. Like, uh, within only like a couple, like a week or two as well, just because he's been getting so many good gems. And another thing too, I just want to say this now, everybody, because lots of people don't really keep tabs on all that stuff. And you know, the devs don't really have, uh, like they do like a stream and talk about it once and then you never hear about it again. But you gotta want to be careful with a lot of your gems, right? Right? Because right here you can see this is Shadow Blitz gem. This is my class gem, right? So I got crit damage, crit hit, and pfft, max health. So what they're gonna be doing eventually, it'll probably take like a year before they do this anyways, but the devs have talked about it. They're gonna make it so that we can change one stat on a gem. Now, hopefully that means we can change that one stat over and over and over again rather than just 
having a chance to change it once and then that's just random chance on random chance that would be stupid so what i'm hoping is that we're going to be able to change one stat over and over again and with that i would be able to change that max health into raw physical damage so i'm sure it's going to be extremely expensive when they do add that probably going to cost five million regeminators or something ah! <laughs> um but I just want to say and give a heads up, don't hold your breath for it, but it does mean that there is going to be a way that we're going to be able to get perfect gems a little bit easier than grinding 5 billion boxes and hoping that it works. Had a little technical hiccup there and also completely forgot to mention that in order to win the prize, of course, you're going to have to hit that like button because it helps me. So you help me. I help you. Uh, be subscribed to this channel. Leave a comment in the comment section down below with your username and Scarlet the Spire will respond to the winner. Let you know, hey, dude, you end up winning and then you either catch myself. Uh, my username is in the top right of like all my videos or Nintendo Gamer in game and get yourself the prize. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a fantastic day. Sign Aura and stay epic, everybody. Please.